And welcome everybody to another wonderful day here at India's Mafia's channel. I am India's Mafia, and this is a new thing that I just invented called Combat News. If somebody else invented it before me, they went in time machine, saw I invented it, and then decided to make it, and they are imposters. Anyway, um, basically what this is, is I pick a topic of news that I want to discuss about, and I have to try to fight and survive and do shit. And usually I prefer to, like, do it all in one life, but since this is team deathmatch, 60 man match, uh, there's about 62 people currently on this map, and it's about, um, quarter mile long, probably less than that, so, it's gonna be hard to survive. So I'm not gonna do that, and I'm just gonna do it in one long stretch, this is probably gonna be a five minute video, I forgot to set a timer, so sorry if it's not exactly five minutes, oh well, anyway, so, what the goal of this is today is we're gonna talk about the new, brand new movie called Jobs. It's supposed to be about Steve Jobs, and I'm dead, um, and I just went to go see it. Basically, the way this is gonna go down, this first bit of, is gonna be for those people that don't want spoilers. Yes, this will not be a spoilers one for the first couple of minutes. I will let you know when that is over. The second part won't necessarily be, oh, this is what happens in the movie, but it will have points that I will point out that when you watch the movie, you'll be like, haha, that just made me think differently about the movie than I would have if I didn't watch this. That's what I consider spoilers. If you listen to review, you'll think differently about the movie when you go to watch it. That's a spoiler. End of story. Anyway, I will let you know when that time occurs, and uh, I guess let's get going. So, okay, so to start off on the review, I just wanted to uh, state that I haven't played this game in a very long time, and I suck gas at it. So, um... Won't be claiming any expertise of any kind, like you just saw right there. And also, I haven't played this in quite some months, so I'm also extremely rusty. Um, so, I also want to speculate that, uh, not speculate, stipulate that I am not an expert on Steve Jobs. I have not seen or read anything about him, I just know that he created Apple. That's about it. You know, I've heard things and various interests, but nothing to really impact me. Um,. And I, I gotta say, the best thing about this movie is that within the first two minutes, I was inspired to make this review. They, within two minutes of the movie, they were able to wipe away my criticism of the movie, which there's a lot, because I was not happy with Ashton Kusher being uh, Steve Jobs. I thought he was not anywhere close to being a good enough actress to throw out his own personality and envelop this character fully. And within two minutes, they changed my mind on both those facts and inspired me to just make a review about how good this movie is. Now, I'm not saying that this is a critically acclaimed best movie you ever see of all time. That's not it at all. It's more of a thinker movie. It's definitely well made, well put together. One of the best acting I've ever seen Ashton Kutcher ever do in his entire life. I will give him that. And then we have uh, also that uh, the, the heavier gentleman. They call him Wiz in the movie. I haven't had a chance to look up his actor's name, but you guys all know him. He is absolutely fabulous. I gotta say, he's one of the most undercredited actors of all times. And, like, he's just brilliant in everything he does, and no one really knows his name or knows him for doing any spectacular parts. And after this, they still won't, because he's still a secondary person. Yet, he just is good enough not to be, you know? Oh my gosh harder than I thought it would be. So if you're into a not necessarily funny movie, but something that will be informational, non-biased, and yet show you the changes of somebody's life that had to work really hard and go through various uh, struggles, and also somebody that was very influential in our age, I highly recommend you watch it. It's very informative very entertaining and I would definitely recommend it now besides that um that this is the point where all you people out there that don't want my opinion to influence the way your brain takes in and enjoys this movie I would recommend you stop now and go watch the movie if I haven't convinced you to watch the movie yet then you might want to keep listening because I mean what what's more gonna happen you know like you still don't watch the movie or I end up convincing you and you watch it you know so anyway this is excruciatingly hard, so I apologize if it's lacking, I will get better at it, but, now, as far as the movie's, uh, progression goes, you can definitely feel the fear 
in everybody's hearts as they watch this man, Steve Jobs, who's supposed to be a brilliant inventor, um, just go down a very slippery and dangerous slope of just egotistical, um, can't think of the words right now, you know what I'm talking about, just going down a path where he can't really turn around, and he's sort of driving his company into the ground, and we all know the time when he was, uh, kicked out of his company, and we're all watching for it, and you almost don't blame them for kicking Steve Jobs out of his company, um, because it was just, uh, of what he did and who he was becoming. He was no longer himself. And it was, um, I felt myself going through the same struggles that the, the people around him went through. Now from that, I also want to say I'm very glad that they had no notion to hide who Steve Jobs really was, because he was known to be an asshole, you know? He was not a nice guy, he was a narcissist, and, um, he was very self-involved, um, he believed himself to be, like, the inventor and creator of Apple, when a matter of, like, all he was was a person that had an idea and motivated everyone around him to accomplish that idea. Now, he came up with an idea that is Apple, a product that's designed for the customer to be matched at the toppest quality and just be used by every consumer and no limitations of creativity. And that was his idea, but everyone else around him are the people that developed it. He was, he invented the first home personal computer, but, I'm sorry, he didn't invent it, that's a red, okay. Was the gentleman that I referenced earlier, is the person that actually invented the first home personal computer. Steve Jobs took that idea and sold it. I keep pressing throw ammo pack, this is killing me, I gotta end this soon. We're hitting time frame. And it was just, um, it's, it's a great way for a movie to just betray somebody and still allow the realism of what's going on and, like, this is how it was back then, along with your unbiased opinion not forced by the director's hand to love and, like, devour this man who's beat Steve Jobs, you know, like, you don't throw yourself wholeheartedly, oh my gosh, Steve Jobs is a saint, you know, or you don't say that about anybody else, you all saw the true, uh, essence of the characters, now I can't say that's actually verbatim what happened in real life, but I will say that based on what the movie portrayed, definitely didn't seem like they held back a lot. Now, as far as bullets go, it seems like I have a very low amount of rate firing right now, so I'm gonna end it here. But, um, this is a quick review, this is my first test out in this format. I will make this better in the future, and I want you guys to let me know how I did, whether this is something that inter interests you, whether I should try out a different game. I'm willing to try any game you guys throw at me. Um, and on top of that, oh my god. Uh, I have a few pointers, thank you for sticking me with the end, and I'll reward you for doing so with several things. I have a secret question that I want to ask you guys, and I want you to remember when you go to watch this movie. The secret question is, um, actually, sorry, not question. It's sort of a riddle. I'm gonna say something, and I want you guys to f find what I'm talking about in the movie. I would say it's a riddle. I don't know. I don't really know how to work. Okay, so the quote is, only the Sith speak in ultimatums. Where is, like, find that in the movie. Say it in the comments. Um, let's see if you can figure out what I'm talking about when I say that. If you guys want to enjoy something a little bit funnier, um, watch the movie and try to count how many times that, uh, Ashton Kutcher says Steve Jobs. It's freaking hilarious. He says his name so many freaking times, that's also another good sign of a narcissist. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was horrendous shooting there. And last but not least, I have a, something to tell Apple out there that for people that are constantly stating that they're trying to hold true to the philosophy of Steve Jobs, the dead man that uh, pretty much created your company, you are doing a horrendous job. Currently, your products can only be taken out in loans. 
or by rich people. Originally, his product was designed to be used by the average consumers, the grandmas, the people in the outfields, the, the kids. And yet it cannot be. Like, it's so outrageously expensive for such a low-end technology in compared to Windows. A Windows computer comparative to yours is $500. And then you hand us a $2,000 computer and say, pay it. Now, I uh, that's just me, but I don't think that holds true to where Steve originally had the idea of Apple. Hell, Steve didn't even hold true to that ideal. But I want you to think about that. Go see the movie, let me know, come back, put in the comments where you found the secret question or uh, riddle. And we'll see you next time for my next review, news report, whatever is on the world and happening. Okay, you have a great day, love you guys, and stay beautiful.